Pat, Hamas was not only using mosques in the war against Israel, it also used a church compound to attack Israeli citizens. George Thomas has this exclusive report from inside Gaza. Archbishop Alexios is Gaza's most prominent Christian leader. His decision to open his church to 2,000 Muslims escaping the war surprised many Gazans. Christ tells us we must love each other, our neighbors and our enemies. No other religion says that except the Christian faith. Alexios and the estimated 1,500 Christians who live in the Gaza Strip walk a fine line between trying to stay alive and the Bible's command to share God's love. Since Hamas's takeover of Gaza in 2007, human rights groups have accused Hamas of imposing strict Taliban-style Islamic laws. Islam is the rule of this place, and whatever Hamas says, we must obey or face consequences. Alexios is now concerned about what comes next after the guns fall silent and the rockets stop flying. There's a lot of anger on the street. We need forgiveness and love to flow. He took CBN News to the roof terrace outside his office. He showed us how militants reportedly used the church compound to launch rockets into Israel. He refused to discuss details on camera for security reasons, but days after the war started, Israeli missiles targeted an area close to the church's sanctuary. This is what's left of one of two minarets that used to stand tall here along the Gaza Strip, not too far from the Mediterranean. It was a major mosque. It was apparently hit by seven Israeli missiles. The Israeli government makes the argument that places like mosques, hospitals and densely populated areas are routinely used by Hamas to fire off their rockets. Just around the corner from the church, Mohammed sits in complete shock. I picked up the phone and the Israeli army said, I have five minutes to get out of my house. They were going to destroy it. This is what's left of Mohammed's three-story apartment complex. He, his five brothers and their families lived in the building. Word on the street is the brothers are reportedly tied to Hamas and used the apartment to store weapons, a claim Mohammed has denied. The Israelis attack schools, they attack hospitals, they attack mosques. You ask them, they know why, I don't know why. This week, Israel's military released a map of Gaza showing dozens of positions from which Hamas fired rockets. Dramatic footage from drones flying above the strip also show Hamas firing from populated areas. Back at the church, Bishop Alexia says he's not out to pick a fight with Hamas or Israel. He simply wants to serve people. We're disciples of Jesus. We must give love to everyone without condition. George Thomas, CBN News, the Gaza Strip. And now Israel is pointing to proof that Hamas was using civilians as human shields against Israeli soldiers. Israeli forces in the Gaza Strip discovered a Hamas handbook illustrating how using people as shields could pay off. The manual on urban warfare says human shields causes trouble for Israeli soldiers trying to reduce civilian casualties. It says the shields give Israelis problems when they try to open fire on gunmen. The manual also says that Hamas benefits from Israel's burning of civilian homes.